Okay, now this, it's something women and couples in Maine and all around the world are struggling with, infertility. It can take its toll financially, emotionally, and physically. In 2018, I interviewed a couple in South Paris going public with their story in an effort to help others and to find their own comfort. More than two years later, we're checking back in with them. Their story starts on the dance floor. When we got married, the Harlem Shake had just come out. And that got everybody out on the dance floor. Everybody, including the kids. Yep, that was really important to us. Michelle and Sam Haverinen couldn't wait to have their own. Looking through their wedding album, they didn't know then a day of love would be followed by so much heartache. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. But even when she recovered, there would be darker days ahead. There's nothing wrong with us. It's, it's a medical diagnosis. Michelle and Sam struggled with infertility, something that affects more than 6 million women in the U.S., according to the latest CDC data. They invested thousands of dollars in in vitro fertilization. And I got pregnant. I found out two days before Christmas. We went for our first ultrasound and, and the baby, we saw the heartbeat, um, but it was a little slower than what they had hoped it would be and it was measuring a day or two behind. Um, so we came back a week later and for the ultrasound and the baby no longer had a heartbeat. They lost all hope. There was no way we could afford that again. But they weren't ready to give up their fight and turned to international IVF. They emptied their life savings and pursued this therapy in Spain. For the second time she was pregnant, but not for long. They considered adoption, but at that point couldn't afford that either. So they went public with their journey, raising money online. I find the more that I share my story, the, the more I just, I receive support. Support from family, friends, and strangers. You know, somebody told us once, you know, if you want to be a parent, you will find a way. More than two years later, Michelle and Sam found their way. You see, this interview was from 2018, and in the time since then, a lot has changed for the better. Even in the middle of a pandemic, a miracle. Their little family welcomed not one. Transferred one embryo and it split. <laughs> but two more heartbeats. We're, we're still in disbelief. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just in time for Mother's Day. Are you just like over the moon? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, so introduce me to your little ones. So this is Millicent uh, Annabelle, and she goes by Millie. This is Isadora, Mabel, Izzy. So, Millie and Izzy. Sweet Millie and Izzy have sure grown a lot in the last few months. So has the depth of their parents' gratitude. They are so cute. Yes, yes. you know it too, don't you? <laughs> their message to couples who know their pain. If you sort of have an open mind and trust the process, um, you'll eventually get to a good place, whether that's you know, finally getting a baby um, some way or coming to acceptance that children aren't going to be a part of your life in that way. Their insurance did not cover IVF and cost is a huge burden for families like the Haverinans. And so I think there needs to be continued um, advocacy for infertility coverage in Maine. So now they're sharing their story to help others fighting the emotional and financial toll of infertility their energy all worth it two little miracles in the middle of a pandemic you just know we can't even believe how blessed we are so the Haverinans found success in an IV, IVF type therapy that uses an egg donor. They were able to afford it thanks to donations and the help of a grant and scholarship that they found. Michelle will go back to work starting Monday, so we wish her the best of luck. Oh. Has her hands full. Yes, they do. Such a great story, Lindsay. Oh.